Hi everyone, it's Brenda. Welcome back to the Learned Crochet series. Today I'm going to show you how to do a half double crochet. And we're going to tie on like we normally do, wrapping twice. Putting your hook in under, pulling it up and over. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> And put your hook in, and just for the purpose, I'm just going to do a couple chains just to show you. Do six. So there's the chains. If you remember how to do those, and I'm going to do six, but I'm going to add two more. So it would always be a multiple of two for a half double crochet. Okay. So you're going to start in the third chain from the hook. So you got one, two. And here's your third one right here. So you're gonna wrap just like you would for your double crochet, okay? Gonna go into your stitch, grab the thread, yarn over, pull through. You're gonna have three loops on your hook. What you're gonna do is for a double, you'd yarn twice, yarn, pull through, yarn, and pull through. This time you're just gonna yarn and pull through all three loops, okay? And that's what it's gonna look like right there. That's a half double crochet. So we'll do that again. Yarn over into your next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. It's a half double crochet. Okay, we'll do it again. Yarn over into your next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Three loops. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, and you're going to keep doing that. Yarn over. Go through your loop, pull out for the length that you want it, um, depending on what you want to make. After you learn all these stitches, you'll be able to decipher all the patterns and you'll be able to do the um, anything that you really kind of want to. I would stick to more of the easy beginner intermediate um, so you don't get too overwhelmed to begin with, but already knowing your chain, your slip stitch, and um, your single crochet, your double crochet, and your half double crochet, you could pretty much do anything. You can alter your patterns by just knowing the size of your stitch. So if they want a double crochet, which is almost double that size, you would know you'd have to do two half doubles to get that. Um, actually it's one and a half, but you could still, you know, that little bit off wouldn't make much of a difference if it's just going to be something for um, a small child. Now for an adult you want to make sure you get it closer because sometimes the patterns are really off. Um, yeah, but it would be the same thing if you wanted to continue in this um, going it would be the same way. Um, when you get to your end, here I'll show you, we'll do another couple together and I'll show you how to get up to the next step and to continue. Tying off is always going to be the same so I'm not going to repeat that on here in case you wanted to do a complete blanket of half double crochets or a um, washcloth or anything on the smaller side. Um, so to step up with a half double you're going to do a chain of two and turn. And then there's your first stitch. So you again yarn over, go in your stitch, yarn over, pull through, three loops, yarn, pull through all three. And you're just going to continue. And when you get to the end, you'll fasten off like I showed you in your single crochet video. And this way you can kind of see it, it's really simple going through all three. You're going to see that all three of them, I'm trying to stretch it out for you, all three are in one loop together. And that's why it's a half double, okay? And I'll show you a easy flower with some of the stitches you've learned already. Um, just so you can get something out of the video for learning your new stitch. I may not always have something for the stitches we're going to learn. Um, I'm going to try, but like our next one we're going to learn is going to be um, a treble crochet. Okay, so I may not have something for that. I'll have to look and see. Uh, if I have a chance to make a pattern up for it, I will. But we're going to tie on like we always do, so just tie onto your hook and we're going to chain two 
and a slip stitch. So you're going to go into your first one here and yarn over, pull through both loops, okay? And then find that center. Sometimes it could be tricky, but it's right there. You see you'll have the double here and then the single, and you want to get your finger right in there because that's where you want to work, okay? So what we're going to do now is work with our half doubles. And we'll chain two. And we're going to go in there and do eight more, let's see, no, seven more. We'll do seven more half doubles because the first chain two is going to work as our first one. So we have three loops in our hook. I know you can't see it. They're stuck up on each other. But there's number two. And we go in here into the center again. And in three. I pull it as I go. You want to cover this working tail so you don't have to fight with it later. And go into the center and do another for four. Wrap, go into your center. Yarn over, pull through, three loops. That's five. Yarn over in your center. Yarn over, pull through, three loops. Pull through all three for six. Yarn over, and through your hole, through the center there. Yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook. You're going to pull through all three again. And now to count, you see the double? I'm going to try to do this as much as I can remember to help you guys count. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. This one right here is seven, so we need one more. So yarn over, go in through the center, yarn over and pull up, and then you got three here. Yarn over, go through all three. That's all your half doubles. That's all you need. Now we're going to find this first stitch where these two double are. Right here, the two double threads, and we're going to push our hook in there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through, and that was your finished slip stitch. Grab your little tail on the back and pull it tight. And there is the flower center. Okay, now this is, I, I did that really loose, so you could see the tension difference. You don't want to do that. I'm not going to fix it for the video, I just wanted to share with you guys that. Now we're going to go on, that would be a cute little flower center. You could see how it kind of looks like a little starburst, so you could just, you know, chain one and cut your thread, pull off, tuck in your ends, and leave it there and make a cute little flower center, a little bling or whatever in there, and maybe a material flower or a rosette or something behind it, and it'll look really cute. But I'm going to show you how to do one step further using some chains. So that would be chain one, go two, three, four, and five, and then we're going to go back into our next spot, which is right here. Okay. Yeah, just wanted to make sure I was going the right spot. And we're going to pull up a loop. And we're going to pull through on there, so another slip stitch. So you have, you know, a little working thread here like this. So you got one loop. We're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Find your next stitch, which is right here. And we're going to slip stitch into this one. We're going in, yarning over, pulling through, and pulling through that last chain. Yarn, and we're going to do five more chains. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And go into your next stitch. Slip stitch in there. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then go into your next stitch. And we're going to continue in this fashion in each stitch all the way around. And you'll have a cute little flower. You could see it's coming out. And it would also be a cute little sun, too. If you wanted to do like a scene card, it would be cute to put that up in the corner. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and the next stitch. But this can be alternated, and I mean, you can use it in any colors. It would make a cute little doily. Um, yeah, depending on the size of the hook you use, it would be the size of the flower sun or little doily you get out of it. I'm using the end, like I said, so it is making a pretty decent size. When you use the smaller ones, 
it'll be quite smaller. Um, yeah, I didn't even think to show you one already done. Sorry. So doing our last one, there's our chain five. Okay, now, and you see this is going into the same one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, I lied. Sorry. Into our last stitch here. And then do our last set of five. Now, if you pull that a little bit, you're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could stop there, but I, I wouldn't. I put the eighth one in. And I'm going to hook into that very first chain that we did because it's going to be the same area. And we are going to, I know it's really hard to see, I'm trying to do this so you could see it. I want to go through those two and the chain we just did. And then we're going to do our chain one. And I don't have my scissors in here with me. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Let me cut this. Okay. You'll cut off your thread and pull. And then you will have your cute little sun flower or um, doily or Right, you just have to watch with that one because, as you see, mine was really loose, so it doesn't actually make a full petal. But if it was actually tight the way it should have been, you, it would be like the rest of those. But, I mean, I could just unhook that and tighten it back up, but I just wanted to save a little bit of time. You just have to pull your tails, and I would just tuck them in the way you normally do, find stitches and run them through. And if you run it this top one down through to where this one is, you can run them together and then trim them at the same time. But there you have it. A cute little embellishment for on your page or even to put on a blanket or if you wanted to make a little um, hairband, that would be cute and then put a smaller flower on the center of it. But I hope you like it and I'll see you all next Saturday. If you're interested in me doing more videos, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, you know, I don't want to continue making videos if nobody's really interested. I do notice that a lot of people are interested more so in my crochet videos than my paper. So I may just show my crochet projects when I get them done. Um, but let me know if you're interested in this series. I really don't want to keep doing it if no one's really that much interested in it. And if you have anything that you'd like me to see, uh, like to see me work on after I get some of the stitches done, I'll be more than happy to try to help get some tutorials up for things you might be interested in. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.